hello welcome back to my channel you guys today i have this video tutorial for you on how i created this short hair look you guys i hate short hair but this has totally changed my mind oh okay so um oh, oh, fine babe just check me out though like this hair is popping okay it's popping <laughs> yeah chop kiss anyways let's get into the video today i'm featuring nadula hair and this is a new company that reached out to me and i was really impressed with the results of the hair i got the lens 8 10 and 12 so very short this is like the shortest lens i've ever done guys and i was really confused on what to do with the, the hair but I, it turned out well the hair is super clean very soft and i got the um i got a frontal in the lens 12 so i got a 12 inch frontal and guys i was like super impressed okay let's slay this okay so the only thing I did for this was to bleach my knots with the purple kaleidoscope tonal powder to lighten it and then I went ahead and made the wig I used my sleek it from L'Oreal to spray this is a very good heat guard and also um, you know help sleek your hair straight I also applied some coconut water mist and my John Freda freeze ease dream call spray um, and I just went ahead and blow dried the hair um, in order for me to get all that product in before I started straightening the hair and um, yeah all I did was to straighten it because if you want to cut short hair you have to make sure you get the proper length of the hair so you want everything to be stretched out so you don't make any mistakes when you're you know cutting your hair you want to make sure you have it perfectly on your shoulders um, so you know you have to straighten everything first next thing i did was use my flat iron on the top to make sure it was extra flat to give it that sleek look you guys you need a flat iron if you're making any wig like it's just perfect and then i applied some um wave whip from Cantu to give that extra sleek look you guys this thing works wonders and it's even good for like doing your baby hairs in front and laying your wig down so make sure you get into this product okay now let's start cutting the hair um, I just use the sleek it again because when if I want my hair to be extra straight It just gives it a very nice look and it, you know when you're cutting your hair It's probably easier to do when it's wet So I wanted to achieve this um, Kind of shot like the back. I wanted the back to be a little bit shorter than the front But not too advanced not the Taraji P Henson look it was more I don't know more my own look anyways I just went ahead and cut off about two three inches off um the bottom of, bottom of my hair I made it slick straight as possible as as much as I can and you can go ahead now and start putting in layers if you want layers but this was what I kind of did just went off and cut off a couple of inches off before I started round brushing okay now this is the this is the juicy part this is where all the magic happens you guys you need a round brush brush for this like make sure you purchase a round brush because this just works wonders okay so start around brushing your your um hair starting with each like you have to do each um layer each track because it'll just make it very round and very bouncy okay so what i did was put on my blow dryer on high heat and as i was round brushing you just kind of trace the brush with the blow dryer all the way to the bottom and before you you can even see it taking shape it starts giving you that bouncy look like you're creating a bob but this makes it extra fluffy extra bouncy so i just went ahead and did this throughout the whole hair track by track or you know layer by layer whatever you call it though um for the front side i kind of track it um put the direction of the brush towards the side in order for it to be slit sideways so whatever shape or whatever motion you're going to be making your your hair will start taking that shape so you want to be careful you know or you can just use this it's actually very easy even if you make mistakes you can literally go over it again and again and again and it's going to take shape very quick very easy way to give you that bouncy look anyways i did this throughout the area of the hair um on each of the track and also in the front for the front side i kind of have a few maybe let's say layers 
so i went ahead as you can see it start taking shape as you keep blow drying it and you just want to again do a directional blow dry where you're actually moving your brush and your blow dryer in the direction you want your hair to go oh i'm sure you guys understand right <laughs> it should be i think it's easy i think it's pretty pretty simple i think i'm just talking too much now to be honest so maybe i should just shut up yeah okay So for the front part, which is going to come to my eye, you're going to do that backwards because you want, right? You want those layers. You want it to be, you know, bouncy, but also kind of sleeked back, right? So it's the same thing. Like I said, do a directional blow dry. I don't know if that's many thing, but that's my word. A directional blow dry where you're going to be moving your hair towards the side you want it to face. If you want it coming forward, you blow dry forward. If you want it going backwards, is you're going to have to blow dry backwards. Okay okay so anyways you can start making layers here if you want the front shutter this is when you cut it and blow dry it but i actually wanted my long because i wasn't sure because i really don't like short hair so i wasn't i wasn't sure what i was doing and an additional step i decided to take was to kind of just tweeze my my path my side part so that it could be extra sharp extra extra crisp look at this hair guys i didn't even tweeze the frontal and look it's scanty it's looking nice Ugh. I actually like this wig I actually love it for my extra sleek look I went ahead I went in with my flat iron and just my flat comb to give it that extra bounce in the front the extra lift you just want to basically um, do that maybe sleek it backwards if that makes sense for it to you know rise up a little bit and also use like hairspray to maintain it all through the life of the hair but yours this is basically all for the hair guys so simple so simple oh hello there ah fine babe okay you guys this is the first time i'm trying the bald cap method please pardon me because this shit this shit is not easy everybody makes it look so easy but it ain't easy bitches like no okay anyways i'm using the got to be glued spray just trace uh, basically your hairline and spray where you want your cap to stay make sure you pull the cap down below your ears because you want to make sure you have you know extra um cap behind your ears basically you want to make sure you cut off the big bold part you can see right there on my eyebrow and then i'll take my blow dryer and start drying it up when it starts getting dry you see it looking all white and tacky and you can feel it getting gluey so um you actually know when it starts getting dry and then you can start like defining your hairline basically by you know cutting off the extra piece that's gonna stick out so just cut off any extras you know trace the thing behind your ear to make sure you have some peace for that sideburn because you know one thing that really is difficult is getting your sideburns to stay flat when you wear your wig so this makes it extra extra flat like if you master the bald cap method guys your wig will always be so late so late to the gods to be honest so i have to do this more often um, okay, I went off camera and kind of just cleaned this part off because I, I needed a bigger <laughs> bigger freaking like mirror You can see me looking down. I was trying to look at a mirror But um, when you clean it off in order to get everything looking so nice I use my black got to be glued gel to just literally melt You know the front sides and the sides burns into my skin So I apply that you already know got to be glued is a little bit tacky so it's going to kind of hold down the front pieces that are lifting up. You want to make sure those parts are melted into your um, skin so that, well, when I say that, it sounds so bad, but it's not going to melt into your skin, obviously. But it's going to be laid as flat as possible so that it looks, you know, there's a smooth transition between the bald cap and your wig when you actually put it on. You don't want to be seeing any, okay, harsh transition lines. You want it to look like skin 
I don't know why I'm just excited. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and just melted that and I used a dryer. This dries super quickly. Use the dryer to kind of blow, blow dry it down and you know, use whatever. I use the scissors here, but just to melt it to give it make it extra flat. And the last step is to take your foundation powder and just go over the top of your bald cap to make it look like skin. Okay, to make it look like your complexion. Now let's throw this wig on. Oh, I did a good job, guys. Like, look at this wig. But as you can see, there's no harsh transition lines just as I've placed it. For me to melt it down, I'll be using the Ghost Bond today to apply my wig down. Basically, put it, trace it ac um, across your hairline and then use a comb to kind of spread it out and blow dry it in place. When it starts getting dry, oh, okay, Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce, okay. <laughs> fan hair blowing thing but when it starts getting dry you can see looking tacky and getting a little bit transparent before you start gluing down your wig i use a rat tail comb to just kind of press it down to make it extra flat and extra melted into my skin you guys can already see this taking shape look at this wig all i did was freaking like bleach it bleach the knot i'm actually really impressed um because the lace was just perfect for my skin um go ahead and blow dry to make it extra dry and now let's actually give this wig some life okay okay i'm just using my hand to basically you know set the wig make sure it stays the way i want it to lay you can see how bouncy it looks you guys can you see like just from round brushing it can you see how bouncy it is it looks super super good to create some baby hairs, I'll be using the Cantu Wave Whip to, for the front. This thing is perfect for laying down your wig and also doing your baby hair. Um, just on the side, you see, I'm just using my hand basically to create that um, slicked baby hair look to the back a little. And basically, this is all I am going to do for the hair. But yours, isn't this a babe? Tell me about it because this is a babe but this is all for the wig guys i am literally done in minutes and i actually love it i actually thought this would not turn out nicely but it did it, i was impressed i was impressed with myself and with nadula hair for giving me this really nice soft hair i did not come to play with you hoes <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. And I'll actually be doing more short hairs because this turned out perfectly. Okay, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to listen to my to me ramble today. But I love you. Bye bye. Here's a kiss to have to bless your day with, I guess. And bye bye. Anyways, okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Hold up. Before I forget, do not forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe, Joe. <laughs> And follow me on Instagram at Stephanie underscore Chooks for more pictures and videos. I love you guys so much. Everything is in the description box. But ask me questions if you have questions. Bye-bye. Peace.